Ukraine today is joined by the voivode of the Mazovia region in Poland, Mr. Jacek Kozlowski. Mr. Kozlowski, welcome to Ukraine today. Welcome. Mr. Kozlowski, um, I understand you have been invited by the Polish Solidarity Fund to come to Ukraine and um, help Ukraine, advise Ukrainian government on uh, its decentralization reform in part of the creation of this special new role of the government representative in the region, yes. uh, which in Ukraine will most likely be called a perfect. I also, Probably, yes. Yes, most likely. So you were also involved in the Polish um, decentralization reform. So based on your experience, of what, how the reform went in Poland and what are you seeing right now in Ukraine. What can you say about Ukraine's reform? I think that, that, that if Ukraine would like to um, uh, build a modern country, uh, if Ukraine uh, has to be a member of European community in future, uh, Ukraine has to follow this way, uh, have to follow a way of decentralization and building, uh, building a subsidiary country oriented towards the needs of citizens and local communities uh, in opposition to the country which is oriented to, uh, uh, to, 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 to answer for the needs of the central government. It means uh, not a weak country because such country is, uh, is even stronger than, 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 than centralized country, but is strong by the power uh, built by the local communities. Decentralization mm, uh, mm, in unitary country, because Poland, like Ukraine, is not federal country. We are the unitary country. It's building uh, local support for the democratic Democrats in the whole country. Mr. Kozlowski, this, this new position of, again, which most likely will be called a perfect um, in, in Ukraine, this is something new for the Ukraine and the Ukrainians. And a lot of people are now wondering what this, this person, what this, this office will be doing. So based on Polish experience, can you tell us how, how beneficial it was for the reform in general? Crucial, uh, uh, crucial points which we discussed today uh, crucial dilemmas uh, which uh, Ukrainian side should resolve is the role of the uh, perfect uh, against the self-governments, local self-governments, and is the position of the perfect, perfect uh, uh, in the structure of the whole government. Uh, first issue, uh, role of the perfect against the self-government. Uh, Prefect is not the head of self-governments. Uh, prefect should uh, play his role against the self-government as a subsidiary uh, uh, state administration, which is serving to local communities, to regional uh, self-governments, uh, uh, helping them uh, uh, to, uh, to, 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 to better answer for the uh, uh, citizens' needs, to, to, to better uh, organization of the delivery of public services to citizens. It is not a, uh, it is not a power over uh, local self-government, it is rather the role of representative of the central government who is serving uh, 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 local communities. Uh, the perfect has very important role in unitary country. Uh, to supervise uh, decision taken by the local self-governments. But it should be only legal supervising. He's not... Uh, um, uh, he, he, in Poland, uh, um, Wojewod, who is trying to, uh, um, to supervise decision taken by the local self-governments using uh, other criteria than legal criteria, uh, is... Uh, um, is acting against the law. Uh, uh, according to the law, self-government and the uh, prefect should be on the same position and eventual controversy between them should be resolved by the court who is uh, acting as independent, uh, uh, independent uh, uh, judge 
resolving uh, the problems between them. Mr. Kozlowski, um, for Ukraine, in order to implement this decentralization reform, uh, there need to be changes to the constitution made. Uh, the parliament has already voted the changes to the constitution in the first reading. Uh, the changes were already approved by the constitutional court, and now they're sent back to the parliament for, for the second reading, for, for the second voting. Um, from what you have said, from what you have seen in these, in these changes, is Ukraine on the right track? With, with this reform? Generally, yes, but there are some, uh, some, uh, um, some problems uh, in this general uh, regulations uh, written in the draft of, of the constitutional change. Um, uh, it should be precised uh, in the act uh, 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 passed by the parliament after the, 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 the constitutional law. Uh, the self-governmental reform that is not uh, a reform only on the constitutional level. Uh, the the self-governmental reform, the centralization of the country, uh, a consequence is uh, the necessity of change. Uh, prob probably uh, more than 20, maybe maybe 30 or 50 different acts. Uh, law on the prefect is one of of those acts. The most important is division of competences between self-government and, 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 and state territorial administration represented by the prefect, and the mechanism of, of cooperation and supervisory role of the prefect against the, the self-government. And so, um, Mr. Kozlowski, I understand you have had a number of meetings with Ukrainian government officials today. Uh, what are you hearing from them in terms of this reform? Very, uh, very interesting questions. Uh, we are compared our models. Uh, Ukraine is uh, going partly uh, using the Polish experience, partly using French experience. For example, uh, a position uh, of the uh, prefect as the civil servant, as the member of civil service corps, is, uh, um, uh, is, um, is prepared according to the French model, not according to the Polish model. Uh, it's interesting, we discussed in Poland a few years ago uh, uh, our model uh, and, 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 and um, decided to go uh, different, partly different way, but, but, but it's a very interesting model, very, very interesting way. Our reforms in Poland was very success, successful in building so-called civic society, in engaging ordinary citizens in public issues, uh, in attracting democracy to the people. Uh, I hope that, 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 that in Ukraine uh, the self-governmental reform, decentralization of, of, of the country w will bring the same effect. What is very important is that this process of strengthening local self-government is a stable process, even presently. Uh, we are uh, uh, reviewing this whole process of, 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 of relations between central government and self-governments are amending sometimes our Polish law uh, because uh, life is going forward and we have to be uh, uh, we have to answer for the new needs new uh, uh, new ways of communicating people, uh, etc., etc. Yeah, Mr. Kosowski, the reform in Poland, the decentralization reform in Poland uh, took quite a lot of time. Ukraine doesn't have so much time. And um, a lot of experts we're talking to, they're saying that uh, they see that it, it would be best for Ukraine to complete this reform in two years. Do you think, from your perspective, it's feasible? It's feasible. Most important is the uh, uh, reform on this local level, uh, um, uh, on, on, on basic uh, level of local community. It is most important because uh, this is the level of administration which is de de delivering the most public services to the ordinary citizen. Uh, and ordinary citizen have to have uh, uh, um, influence for way in which these services are delivered to uh, to the people. It is the way 
to attract democracy to the ordinary citizens. It is the most important part of the reform and it is uh, of course possible to implement uh, um, such reform during one or, or, or one and a half year. I understand. Well, let's see whether Ukraine uh, will be able to complete this reform in this uh, such a short uh, time frame. Uh, Mr. Kozlovsky, many thanks for coming to us and talking to us. This was Vladimir Suluhu for Ukraine today together with the Voivode of the Mazovia region in Poland, Mr. Jacek Kozlovsky. Thank you for watching us.